Hey everybody, welcome to SandTube 3D. Like always, my name is Vijay. Today we're going to be talking about stringing and retraction and your Kira settings. So as you can see, I've done some test prints. I got good quality on the left and really bad quality on the right. So today I'm going to go over it with you guys. Either you're new to 3D printing or you've been doing it for a while, this video should help you out. So ever since Kira 4.0 or higher has come out, I noticed that my retraction settings from previous versions don't match up. The reason for that is for some reason in the new version with Kira you have to actually go a little bit lower with your numbers instead of setting them higher which I'm going to show you in Kira itself so let's go ahead and jump into that so I can explain to you a little bit more in detail of what I'm talking about. Now that we have Kira open these are my retraction settings I want to share with you guys. Um, the first one is of course you want to enable retraction so it does happen. Um, retract that layer change you want to do the speed and the distance. So what this is, of course, retraction, what it does is when your nozzle moves from point A to point B, it retracts the filament so it doesn't leave kind of a webbing or stringing that you saw earlier on the right side of my test, on the stringing test that I did. So once you have retraction enabled, uh, retract at layer change, I usually leave unchecked. Uh, retraction distance is at five for me and retraction speed is at 45. Now I'm going to talk about these for you newcomers uh, because these are the mistakes that I made when I started. So people tend to always pick more options in Kira because they think it's going to give you a finer, more detailed print. That's not necessarily the case. The more options you have selected, the more work you have to do to fine tune the quality of your print. So just remember guys, keep it simple. Don't overdo it. Just keep it very, very simple. So just pick these four things here okay now the retraction distance normally you would think that's the amount that when it's moving from point A to point B that's how much filming gets pushed back into the nozzle and the, the speed of course is at what speed does it do it at typically if you're getting stringing you would think oh I'm not retracting enough so instead of five that you see here you might put a seven so let me do seven distance going in and maybe it's not moving fast enough so let me change this to 60 so if you look at this picture here, as I increased my numbers, I'm going to the right. And if you notice on the right hand side, my quality gets worse and worse and worse. Now before 4.0, for some reason, when I increased my numbers, I got better results. But for some reason in 4.0, the lower my numbers, the better it is. So I found a happy medium, which is 5 as far as the distance and 45 as far as the speed. So this might vary from printer to printer, guys, depending on how you have your machine set up. But I'm pretty sure you might just change the distance to 4, or you might have to lower the speed down to 40, or maybe go to 50. But you should usually stay within 10 of the value that I have here. And I think you should get your stringing issues resolved. So there you go. Very short, simple video. Keep your values to a minimum don't add things you don't need and for some reason in Kira 4.0 and higher you need to lower your retraction amount even though we would think that increasing the distance and the speed would help with the retraction but in this case it actually goes the opposite for some reason so I hope you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions comments concerns guys go ahead and leave it down below I'll get back to every single one of you like I always do sorry I've been a little MIA lately but I'm back in the picture full force. So I'll keep popping these videos out for you guys so it'll help you out throughout the way. And if again, if you have any questions, let me know. Like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.